Howdy folks, welcome back to another edition of Richard Victories and uh, Naval Command with World of Warships. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. I have been playing World of Warships. Um, Wednesday nights I'm Twitch streaming, link below in the description. But I uh, was out over the weekend with my Mitsuki, just trying to grind up some extra XP's, and had a cracker of a game. Figured I'd like to share it with you. So uh, this map is, like many maps for World of Warships, not too terribly destroyer friendly. Um, particularly Point Charlie, which is the cap point I'm heading for, is really not good for Japanese destroyers. American destroyers can get okay by parking yourself in the middle of a smoke cloud, using the islands to protect against direct attack, and just shelling everything that everybody else spots. Japanese destroyers, this is a kill zone. You go in there and get gunned to death, usually by American destroyers, or cruisers being spotted for you by American destroyers. Um, so, yeah, I'm just not going in there. Now, in chat, one of the fellas there, Arctic Wolf, uh, I say fella in the general neutral term here, Arctic Wolf 2, chat bragging about how much he loves his Kiev. Um, I don't own one, but I've heard they're very good. If you own one, do me a favor and let me know what you think of them in the uh, description. So, I've decided I'm not going into Charlie, as I say, for all kinds of good how-not-to-die reasons. Um, so what I'm going to do, in fact, is cruise up around the outside edge and try and spot anything that's in there. Now, before I get into position to do that, one of the ships coming up from the south, friendly Atlanta and a friendly destroyer, um, Atlanta-class cruiser and a destroyer, spotted uh, an enemy York going into the cap zone. Um, now... I can see that C is already being capped, so that means there's an enemy destroyer in there. Um, so the York is moving to reinforce, so what I need to do is sink the York, or at least beat him up badly enough that he'll be easy prey for our friendly vessels while they try and flush out that enemy destroyer. So I put two spreads of torpedoes into a likely track he's going down. I wait about five seconds between them, just so they've got better odds of crossing and uh, start looking. And there's the enemy destroyer, a Farragut. I certainly don't want him to see me if I can avoid it. If he does see me, I would rather have a nice solid island between me and him. So I'm going to line up on the corner, wait for this York to come around, hopefully he eats a couple of torpedoes, and I've got a 45 seconds to wait. I may as well start shooting. Now, you can see here, and much to my happiness, his guns are all pointing the other way. He's worried about that Atlanta and the friendly destroyer. So I'm going to start putting shells into this guy. Uh, if I can set him on fire, that's just bonus damage. He's taken one torpedo. He's pretty tender. He's burning. He's flooding. So that's great. Um, his secondaries, I commented on how good the secondaries in New York are. You can see they've taken my engine out and set me on fire. Um, I'm burning in two locations. Not bad. I'll take a little bit of that damage because there's just simply no point in um, putting, them, putting it out of repairing. These guns will just cripple me again. And those shells came from over there. I just got straddled by a broadside from a battleship. Now, if you take a look at the mini-map, the last known markers are for a pair of battleships out that way. So they've just invited me to come play. Be rude not to accept. Okay, so it's a, a Bayern, at least. Um, German battleship. So, again, good good secondaries. Um, reasonable rifle, big bore guns. Probably don't want to get anywhere that he can see me. But at the same token, he seems to be heading... What's he doing? Yeah, he's heading towards Bravo. So I certainly don't want him going in there to reinforce um, uh, what's going on at B. So if I can convince him to turn around, uh, that would be good. A lot of the work I do with torpedoes, particularly in destroyers, is using my torpedoes to convince enemy captains to do something else. Change course, what have you. Just delay them. Force them to um, take time to avoid the torpedoes, as opposed to advancing on what it is they want to do. Now, he's figured out he's been spotted. Um, 
and is retreating. He's completely turned himself around. He's heading out to the north uh, to the northwest right now. Got a tail shot on torpedoes. It's unlikely I'm going to hit anything. But again, just want him worrying about you know the fact he's being hunted. There's one spread of torpedoes. Wait about five, six seconds. And just a little bit to compensate for his changing track. Second spread of torpedoes. Now it's going to take a little while. Take a top, look at top view, down view, get a better layout of what it is I need to do. Set a course to go and steer for an intercept. using the uh, torpedo zoom here to uh, essentially use the, the torpedoes as reconnaissance drones. Allows me to look from where the vantage point of the torpedo is. So there's the Baron, and he's tucked himself in behind the island and has come to a full stop. Okay, so he's no dummy. He knows he's being hunted, and he's using the island as a, me as a method of blocking himself and protecting himself. So he can't see me. He's no longer detected. And he sees torpedoes, goes by. He knows exactly what's going on. All right, so not a stupid captain. Engine boost activated. So what I'm going to do here is originally I had thought maybe it was steer into B, support the cap going on there, and then press towards A. Uh, no, this guy needs to die. Smart captains are the most dangerous thing in the game. So uh, use the engine boost. I need to cover a lot of ground quickly, and it's a way that gives me. Well, basically an extra 10%, 15% top end, which means the game will change for him much faster than he's anticipating. Fire the first spread of torpedoes at him. Um, hold the shot here. What I'm trying to figure out is how, how close I can get. Um, my detection is right around 6 kilometers. Um, I can afford to get close. So I'm looking around to see what my rest of my team is doing. Um, other ships putting torpedoes in the water. I'm not confident. So put the second spread in the water. Um, I want this guy to get hit from as many odds as, and angles as possible. I'm going to cut around behind the island, I think is what I'm going to do now. Um, maintain contact with him by coming up behind him if I can. Um, but if you take a look at the mini-map, you'll notice there's a, miss there's a, a last known marker for another battleship up this way. So now I need to be conscious of that. Of course, because I've got this guy spotter, the uh, Bayer and spotted, everybody on my team knows where he's at. So that's helping my team out. Okay, those torpedoes are going to go nowhere near him. And there's... Oh, that's a Colorado. So there are two battleships over here. Okay. Um, right then, that changes things. Now, the Colorado isn't close enough for me to attack. I can't hurt him. He's outside my, my torpedo range. But I can't ignore him either if I... Uh, make the mistake of forgetting he's there, that he'll kill me. So widespread initially, put a bunch of torpedoes down. I do not want the Bayer and tag teaming up with the uh, with the Colorado, which is exactly what this guy's trying to do. It looks like he's trying to rendezvous with the Colorado for mutual support. Um, so I, yeah, this guy needs to die now. So I'm going to cut the angle close. He's seen me, second spread of torpedoes in the water. I'm going to start firing guns. His, his turrets are all facing away, but they're swinging. Yeah, okay, he's turning his guns towards me. He knows he's under attack. Um, all I really have at this point is agility. Okay, there's my torpedoes coming in. Widespread, he knows they're there. He's not maneuvering to avoid. Takes one. Okay, good. That's a good chunk of his health bar gone. Let's see if I can't get this guy caught on fire. There's my second spread of torpedoes. About to put the second spot down, but they just don't, they're not reloaded yet. Didn't need to worry about it. Um, yeah, that was a mistake on his part. He knew he was under attack by a destroyer. Uh, I'm guessing what happened is he saw the widespread and presumed that because there wasn't immediately another set of torpedoes that he could see that he could forget about the torpedo threat. Um, so the second spread of torpedoes got him blindsided. So, that leaves the Colorado up here. Let's see what we can do. So, the Colorado knows there's a destroyer up here that just killed another battleship. 
I have to presume that this guy is one, smart because he's not dead yet, and two, um, that he knows he's being hunted. At this point, he his you have been spotted alarm is lit. Uh, given his position, I'm pretty sure that means the only thing that could be spotting him is me. Uh, there is an, an there is a friendly battleship sort of behind me, out to the southeast. But so as soon as he crosses the 10k mark, I put a spread of torpedoes in the water, um, come up to speed. I drop my speed to basically let him come to me, uh, to give me plenty of time to think. For some reason here, the replay isn't showing him the fact that I have him targeted, but I do. So I'm not blind firing these tar these are targeted torpedoes. So, do a, a turnover, come back the other way, widespread going the other way, again, I alternate here a narrow spread versus widespread to give, sort of bump up the odds that something is going to hit this guy. Um, torpedoes are as much a psychological weapon as anything. So there we go, start shooting at him, and his guns are pointing this way. Uh, wow. Okay, so two torpedoes, one of them knocks out his steering gear, which paradoxically means um, yeah, I've just ensured that my second volley of torpedoes are going to miss, because this guy's locked into a hard turn. He takes advantage of it and doesn't repair until he's well between the torpedoes. So he's firing at me. Yeah, there we go. Um, he knows I'm here. I'm detected. Uh, because I've been firing my guns, turn over, spread a torpedoes out behind me, um, hold the shot, wait for it, no longer detected, and immediately, yeah, so the last thing he saw was me t starting to turn away from him, so now I'm going to resume the course I was initially on, fire the second spread of torpedoes. Uh, the hope is, is that he's expecting a longer lag between the torpedoes by having seen me trying to turn around to fire the second spread. That's what I'm hoping. Again, I have to presume this guy is both smart and knows he's under attack. Now, if you're taking a look at Point Alpha, there's a Dunkirk in there that's been having a great game. He sunk two ships that have tried to cap A. He's taken a bit of a beating. There he is there. Um, but yeah, I don't... Uh, Got to be conscious of the fact he's there. I do not want eight of those guns on the front of a Dunkirk looking at me. On the other hand, I can't leave him in A either, so I'm going to start steering towards A to get into a position for a shot. And look at that. He's coming out of A. All right, that is both good and bad news. It means I'm going to be point blank to a an inside detection range of a Dunkirk battleship, where all he has to do is turn his ass towards me, and there's an awful lot of firepower back there. Um, so slow down, a uh, bit of a gambit. Put a spread of torpedoes. Wait a few seconds. Put the second spread of torpedoes. Lost contact with him. Um, not good news. Where is he? Where is he? Yeah, okay, I don't like waiting. Uh, there he is. Top down, okay, torpedo's looking good. The Atlanta, uh, the Atlantis, or the, uh, the Colorado's still heading the other way. Wow. He actually stopped all three, just only two to, it only took two to kill him. Okay, so I'm guessing he hadn't been paying attention to his mini-map. Uh, I was, am startled that he wouldn't have known I was there. So, yeah, okay, I'm not going to argue. So, just that Colorado. Now, the tempting thing to do here would be to turn around, run uh, up after the Colorado, and try and sink them. But, oh, wait a second, that's my torpedo. Ah, charming. So the Fabuki fire to spread of torpedoes right through my track. Okay. Right. Well, he missed. Fair enough. I'm I'm gonna presume he was trying to hit, he that he's trying to hit the uh, the Colorado way at the back, but at that range, those torpedoes will probably never see the broad side of them. Um, but yeah. So what I was saying was that um, I could, you know, get to the temptation of chasing after the Colorado, but honestly, he's out of the game. 
He's more than 12 kilometers away. He, he, this match will be over long before then. We're up over, we're almost at 900 points. Um, if I simply pull into this cap circle and lock the other team, the uh, the other team's ability to score points, we win. It's just it's unstoppable at that point. So uh, fire spread torpedoes over my shoulder just to convince him to do something else because I've noticed he's now turned south. He's trying to get back in the game. Yeah, there you can see him. We've got um, uh, some ships chasing into Charlie, but for the enemy team, it's too little, too late. Even if they get into C, we'll just cap A, and it will be over. So, yeah, this match is essentially done. Um, keeping an eye on the torpedoes. Actually, interestingly enough, those torpedoes I fired north look to be pretty close to target. Yeah, not bad. A long range shot like that, they were never going to hit, but at this point in time, his missile, his, uh, I was going to say missile whistle, his uh, torpedo alarm is going off, which means he's now changing course and speed, and he's taken the hint. Um, so he won't be back in this game for the rest of the match, and somebody else wraps it up with a kill. There we go. So, not a bad match at all. Um, smidge under 110k uh, damage done, 21 gun hits, 10 torpedo hits, 3 kills. Nine floods, um, almost 370,000 XP uh, credits. Uh, got the effective shooting award, which is nice. So a little bit of progress made still on the ARP Ashigara challenge. I uh, would love to get one of the uh, the ARP ships just for the giggles. I love the uh, the uh, manga aesthetic, so that'll be fun. Uh, Manners Maketh Man. Does anyone actually have a link, uh, I presume it's somewhere on the Wargaming website, uh, about what all these new and interesting little uh, awards are? I've been seeing them popping up, and they're fun, but I have no idea what I'm doing to earn them. So, number one on the team, three kills, 2200 base XP. Um, pretty good. I'm really pleased with that turnout. Yeah, probably best game so far in the Mitsuki. Um, Shoutouts to Kenman, Burns Mag, Shaitu, Ace Unicorn, Fox Northwind, and the Fog Battleship Colorado for uh, being part of how, uh, for being part of this video. Appreciate you guys coming out and playing. And uh, yeah, as I said, I was a uh, weekend, did a three-day uh, special, got a couple days premium, had a lot of fun. Hope you folks enjoyed the video. Take care, and I will catch you out there. Uh, if you see me online or playing, please say hi. Take care. Bye-bye.